This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> You've probably seen this story, a uh, teenager in Oregon, his name is uh, Mohammed Osman Moham Mohamud. Uh, he was born in Somalia, came over when he was five years old, uh, apparently wanted to do some sort of terrorist attack, didn't know how, tried to reach out to uh, people in Pakistan to figure out how. Now the good news is, apparently no one in his community, uh, who are all Muslim, from Somalia, in Oregon, no one wanted to help him. And apparently he thinks that his parents turned him in, that his family betrayed him, right? right? So not only did they not work with him, his parents, uh, you know, you can say sold him out, you can say dimed him out, but you can also say, hey, try to protect the lives of others in their community to the point where they even turned in their own son. So according to his testimony, okay? So uh, that's the good news part of it. The bad news is uh, he wanted to do this massive bombing uh, during a Christmas tree lighting ceremony where there was uh, an enormous number of citizens there, obviously all innocent civilians, uh, men, women, and children. And the FBI, it, they did an interesting thing. What they do is they pretend that they're the bad guys, which is understandable, obviously, and they show them how to make the bomb, but it's not really a bomb. It's, they, it can't explode, but he doesn't know that. And they go through the whole process, but at every step, so that it's not entrapment, they said to him, are you sure you want to do this? You know, there are other ways that we can do this, we can pray, we can, you know, uh, do a, a lot of other ways to try to make things right. And he says, no, 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 I want to do this, I want to kill him. And they ask him, hey, you know, there's going to be children there, do you mind uh, killing those kids? He's like, no, 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 it's going to be great, and he's enthusiastic. So, if I was on the jury, and this guy comes in with an entrapment defense, <sighs> tell it to the back of my ass. Entrapment? Okay, look, I understand the legal case you're making. Here's a, 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 your problem, though. When the undercover FBI agent pretending to be a, a terrorist says to you, hey, you want to blow up uh, little uh, innocent kids in that ceremony? And you're like, hell yeah. Guilty. 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 Okay. So no interest in this guy's defense. He was, as you see the details of the story, incredibly enthusiastic about killing these poor uh, people in Oregon who were his neighbors. And, you know, one of the kids in the neighborhood was like, I used to play basketball with him, you know? And he, he never gave me any indication of anything like this. And what if that kid was there? I mean, let alone all the other innocent people. No, it's barbaric. So he could obviously faces up to life in prison, and based on the facts that I've read, certainly deserves it. And, um, and then, of course, unfortunately, there's the other side of this where people in Oregon have, when somebody... Uh, uh, went and started a fire at the mosque that he sometimes prayed at. That is so irrational. Every single person at that mosque had no interest in this guy, was not involved in it. He couldn't trust any of them to go to them to uh, work with him on this because he knew that they wouldn't because they were good, upstanding American citizens. And it turns out at least somebody in his family that probably go goes to that same mosque turned him in. So for you to strike out against these guys who didn't do it, not only is it the wrong target, not only is it completely irrational, but don't you get it? You're doing the same thing he did. You're hitting innocent people for no reason. And and you're trying to blow up a place when he was trying to blow up a place, and you say, I did it because he's a dirty terrorist. Well, what does that make you? Come on. I'm trying to reason with people that my guests don't have much reason. But they haven't caught people uh, who did the arson yet is... And it, comically, the authorities were like, we're not sure if it's connected. Yeah, no, I'm sure, randomly, the same mosque he went to got lit up, just as a wild coincidence, after people found out that that was his mosque. <laughs> Here, I got news for you. It's connected. New sponsor at the Young Turks, Squarespace. They help you build websites. They've got 24-7 support, and they've built some of the largest websites in the world. They have an iPhone app so you can edit your website on the go. TYT promo code. 10% off for the life of your order. Squarespace.